Okay, guys, thank you for getting this tape. Uh, we're about to do one of the chapters, my favorite, okay? I think it's so important to do have a good defense against anything. In jujitsu, a lot of people want to learn how to attack. That's what they think. How do I submit a person? What, what do I do? You know, let me learn the, the craziest new move that looks neat, you know? I think for me, the art of jujitsu is learning how not to get submitted. Anything else, you know, uh, my, my philosophy is to defend yourself first and, and don't tap out to the guy. And now that I feel so comfortable my, about my defense, I'm ready to tap him out. And no matter where the fight goes, no matter where the grappling match goes, if I feel good about my chances of survival, I feel better about my chances to tap him out because I'm not so concerned about getting tapped. So I think uh, for everybody out there, the philosophy at the uh, Gracie Fighter School, if you notice the guys in the, that, that fight for my team that uh, I put in tournaments, sometimes we win, every once in a while we lose, but we're not getting tapped out like a lot of other guys because uh, we, we have a strong emphasis on defense. So I want you to really pay attention to this tape and, uh, and make yourself strong jiu-jitsu players by it. So let's start this one off, uh, the counter state, okay? Guys, if you notice from this position here, one of the attacks, one of the early attacks we learn, and uh, it, it's crucial that you know how to do this gi list because you don't have the, the gi chokes and the, the controls on the sleeve, is a basic Kimura move. And you'll see people that do this from any angle, okay? He'll grab my wrist, he'll sit over, and now that he has this lock, the guy, it's very strong because he's got two arms to my one arm, okay? Now he's gonna scoot his hips to that side over there, and he's gonna tap me out. What that's gonna do is gonna break my shoulder, okay? And it's also uh, gonna put a lot of pressure on my elbow, possibly breaking that also. I have to be able to deal with this. Of course, if I can help it, I never let the guy put me in a Kimura, all right? And as, as good as I am with that, sometimes it's gonna happen. He's quick, that's his favorite move, whatever. He's gonna put me in a Kimura and I can't just say, oh, I'm in this Kimura now, I'm gonna tap out. I have to be able to defend it, okay? So when the guy has me here, and he comes over and he grabs, I have to react to this, okay? Remember, my arm is not as strong as both of his arms, and he uh, has a pretty quick move. So as he's laying back, I'm gonna drop my left shoulder, okay? So he starts to scoot and lay back, my left shoulder drops, and look at my right leg. It takes a huge step, okay? Right by his side, and now my right hand goes under. So he goes ahead, start cranking a little bit, Turn it, turn it, I don't feel nothing. Look, no problem, okay? It's imperative that you do this movement really quick. As my arm is going, I have to uh, meet my arm with my leg, okay? I'm gonna drop my left shoulder, and when I drop my left shoulder, that uh, makes it so that my leg can step a little quicker, okay? And it puts me, it aligns my body in the proper positioning. So all of a sudden, even though he's got my arm and he's turning it up, I'm able to put a block. I'm putting my leg, which is my leg is the, you know, the biggest limb on my body, it's stronger than my arms, and it's blocking him from turning my shoulder over anymore. So when he has it, We'll start here, and sometimes, like, see, I can grab my, my pant leg, or, you know, if, if, total gilas, I have shorts. Some guys grab here, you know, they grab the inside, but this guy's gonna lay back, lay back, lay back, and he's gonna finish it, okay? So just putting your hand and cupping it under your leg, not a great idea. You can do it against a weaker guy. I can put my weight to that side too, hold him, you know. Hopefully that'll work, but you'll see a stronger guy and me trying to do that, he's just gonna yank that out of there, all right? And I have to be ready for that eventuality. So when he has it, one more time, he's here, here. Look, he's starting to go, dump your shoulder over here immediately and step and I'm gonna be here. Now when he tries to turn, it doesn't matter. If he scoots his hip out farther like he's been taught from day one in jiu-jitsu, it's only gonna help me because he's going deeper into my leg and that's what I want. If he scoots his hip this way, it's gonna help me also because he's going away from his strength. Now my hand cups here and I get comfortable here. Now what I'm gonna do is take my right leg and I'm gonna fold it. See like this? My leg is gonna fold and it's, what it's gonna do is gonna create a lock on my hand. Not only am I grabbing something, but it's locked. And when I put my weight on that leg now, the guy's trying to turn it, try to turn. Look, it, 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 it's bothersome to him. If we're doing MMA, this is ideal because what it does, see how this 
uh, this part of his body is stretched now, okay? It's stretched out, and whenever you stretch something, the same in boxing, you know, the guy's always trying to, like, make this small when they get hit to the body. When you stretch, that's when you're in trouble. I'm going to lift my left leg up, and when I lift my left leg up, what that does is keeps more pressure on my right arm. Impossible for him to take my arm now, okay? And now I'm going to start to strike the floating rib. I'm going to strike the, the, the liver shots. This is, this is what I'm going to be doing here, punching him, punching him. And he's going to open up because I'm going to break his ribs. It's just going to happen, okay? In uh, Gila's, you know, I'll stay here and uh, I'll start to push. Now push his elbow out, push his elbow out, and, and then free my hand up. If I get in trouble at any point where uh, my grip wasn't that great, uh, slippery, my arm starts to come out, all I do is throw my leg back over the original spot that I had it, okay? So once again, remember, this is a timing issue. You have to have timing for this. You can't, you have to drill it over and over again to get comfortable with it, okay? He's gonna attack my hand. One, he's gonna sit up quickly. Two, bam, right here. Now he could not finish this anymore. Grab right between, your, uh, right under your knee. Lock, you're gonna feel this get tight. You're gonna feel this get tight. It even hurts his arm a little bit. Look, to hold that, it's, it's uncomfortable for him. Lift up your left leg. Look, look, uncomfortable? Punch, punch if it's MMA. If not, my left hand starts coming in here. I start working on this guy to get out. You know what I mean? I grab whatever. I start to push his elbow out. I stay here. Look, 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 and I get out, okay? That's what I'm going to look for. So do both the sides like that until you feel extremely comfortable, and you're going you're gonna to start to get your counters to the Kimura down, okay?